2011, the, in 2011, the Singapore Flyer was the largest Ferris wheel in the world. The table below gives the height of the rider at, from the ground at different times. So it gives you time, which is X, height, which is Y. And then it says, Jordy got on the Singapore Flyer at noon and rode it for four consecutive rotations. Determine a sinusoidal regression. So do we do anything different than before? All the same steps, except we press C. Instead of 4, 5, 6, 9, 0, we're going to press C, which is S-I-N reg, sign reg. That's it. So everyone's typing it in. I want the values to the nearest hundredths where necessary. These questions, every time we go to do one of them, we go to Y equals and we clear it out. Correct? We always make sure our Y equals is cleared. Then we go stat, edit, and we clear our list. We don't delete our list because we want to clear them. We don't want to delete them. And we put in 0, 9.25. And always, always, if it's on a test or on a diploma, you go through and you double check and make sure you didn't mess up a number, right? 9.25, Then we have 49, 295, 541, 295, 49, 295, 541, 295, 49. Okay, then we go stat, calc. Now on the diploma, we talked about this a few seconds ago. We pick four if they want linear, five for quadratic, six for cubic, nine is logarithmic, which will be on your test on Wednesday. Zero is exponential on your test on Wednesday. And C is sine. Those are the only ones on the diploma you can pick. Well, you can pick more. You're just going to be wrong. So don't pick any other ones. We get our C. And we get our calculations. So we get uh, Y equals A, which is 246. Sine. And we get B, which is 0 0.17. Make sure your phones are away. X minus 1.57 because it's plus or minus. And then plus 295. Now when we go to answer any questions after that, do we, an do we answer the questions with rounded decimals? Do we type that into our Y equal? No. We keep all the decimals by going Y equals, bars, statistics, over to equation, enter. And we always change our window to suit our data. Now it says that it makes four full revolutions. So I don't know. We could go 0 to 120 and try that out. Might have to do more. And then Y minimum would be 0 up to 541. So I'm going to say 0 to 600. And I have to make sure that I am in radian mode, guys. I'm not joking. There's no time ever in this unit, in this year, in this unit for sure, but in this whole year that you should ever be in degrees. Okay? So for this unit specifically, if you're in degrees, you're going to get every question wrong. They're all radians. So I'm in degrees, I press graph. Okay. So here it says, Jordy's friend Yale was in a building directly across from the Singapore Flyer at a height of 400 feet. When was the second time that he was at that level with Yale? Height of 400 feet. Did I give you X or Y? Time height. X or Y? Y, because it's in the Y column, correct? Height is at the very top, it says Y. So I'm going to put it into Y2. And I need the second time. So I go second trace, 5. Enter, enter, enter. And I get... 25.2. And they have to be around and roll the diploma. So 25.2 what? Minutes. It's a slow moving thing. Is that good enough for me to just write 25.2 on a written response on a diploma or on a unit test? No. It's a sentence. Jordy's friend Yale was in the building directly across from the Singapore Flyer at a height of 400 feet. When was the second time Jordy was at the level with Yale? The second time.
40 was level with Yale at 400 feet was at 25.2 minutes. All right. At white, what height was Jordy at when the time was 96 minutes? So this time I gave what? The yes. X. Now remember, if I go second trace value and I put in 96, but the X max is 60, what's my calculator going to do to me? Get mad, right? It's going to error. Exactly. So second trace value, 96, enter. It's at 49. 498.9 what I don't know my units go up here feet what height was Jordy at when the time was 96 minutes when the time was 96 minutes Now here it says, what time did Jordy get off the ride? So you actually have to read a little more thoroughly, go back up. It says that Jordy got on the Singapore Flyer at noon and rode it for four consecutive rotations. So we have to do four rotations to find out when he got off of the ride. So if I go to this, this, down to here is one, down to here is two, down to here is three, and then over here is four. So what do I have to do in order to be able to see the fourth one? Change my, which part of it? You were right with X. X max. So we're trying to if we're trying to widen the screen over here, it's our X. So I'm gonna go with 180. So I go second trace minimum. So this is one, two, three, four. So I'm trying to find this one. Forty eight minutes. Frozen. Well, the answer is one forty eight minutes. You write that.